Hi, my name is Dr. Matt Horman. This is my student, Danny Junkel. Uh, we're going to get started on a couple warm-ups and then just put him through his paces, see how this goes. Meet you at the end. Okay. Let's get started with the uh, five-note slur, please. Here we go. Nice and easy the volume, not too terribly loud. One, two, three. the top octave of that starting on this F. Two. So after that, after F, it goes G, A, no, A natural, mm -hmm. and then B nat flat, mm -hmm. and then C, how far does it go up to? C, D, 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 D. yeah. All the way up to F. Yes. All the way up to F. So F, 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 F. Here we go. Um, that octave, the top octave. Here we go. Two, and ready, and front F. start on middle octave, go to the top, and then go down both octaves. Okay. So start on this F, go up to the top F, and then go all the way down. Yeah? You go two, and ready, and go. Try to um, practice these at a slower tempo so you actually say the note names so that you don't get lost when you're doing the multiple octaves. So F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, and then keep going up and back down. And what's the most important thing with your sight reading? 
the key and the time. Time. Time is all, when you're sight reading in a group of one or more, of two or more, time. Because if you play the wrong notes, it's okay. But if you crash the time, then the whole band can crash. Okay? Here we go. One and two and ready and go. <laughs> Lots of air and be confident, okay? One and two and top. Second time, or the second section, one more time. Okay. So this section here is going to go. so we know where that eighth note is, okay? One, and two, and ready, and go. Last four bars. Two and ready. Perfect. Last time. Two 
and ready, and go. <laughs> Okay? Okay. That's your part. Wait, am I taking bottom? Oh no, you're on top. Never seen it before in your life. Uh, take the second inning. Don't, don't repeat. Three, one and two and one, two, three. Make sure you count through the, the dotted notes. Uh, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three. Got it. One more time. One. I say one, two, three, you come in on four. One, and two, and one, two, three. your sharp scales so that we're a little more familiar with that upper octave of G. So try practicing G two octaves so that we're going up to that G is what I want you to start to get comfortable with. You have the chops to do it but we just need to get you more comfortable in terms of picking it out, seeing it on the page and making it happen. Do you have any questions? Um, no. Good job. Load up. Oof. Goodbye, Internet. <laughs> 